sure your swing guide got there okay in one piece. It's practically unbreakable. You can bend the thing and uh, no problem. Now, it's important that this end goes on first. If, if this doesn't easily go into that, the uh, hole in your, your grip, you may have to uh, make a little bit of a hole with something that's uh, small and sharp and ream that out a little bit. Just spin the wing nut off this end. Take the uh, bolt out, stick it in. You may have to spread the clamp out a little bit. Then when you, you can squeeze it. I'm going to put the bolt through the square hole, if there is a square hole. That keeps the bolt from turning when you put the wing nut on. Give it a little spin, tightens up quicker. Now, uh, take your grip, make sure you've got room for both hands. Push it down towards the end of the grip just so you have enough room for both hands. Start tightening. Get a little bit tight and then line it up relative to the leading edge of the club face. This large bar we call the plane bar. It should be in the same plane of the uh, leading edge if you want to feel a perfect square face. If you want the club to be a little bit closed to help you hook the ball, then you push the club face up towards the sky a little bit. So now the, this plane bar is not straight up and down, it's more towards 1230, towards 1 o'clock. Now instead of twisting this where you want it to go, always move it down here. No use putting pressure on the plane bar. Rather, put pressure on the clamp. Now I've got right where I want it to go because I've got a pitching wedge. I want a little bit of a shaft lean. That's why I have the plane bar offset towards 1215, 1230, somewhere in there. It's a little bit of a guess. Then I'm going to tighten this up and uh, should stay in place. Then uh, this is what we call the crossbars. These can be bent a little bit. You want to set a right angle between your forearm and your shaft. It'll come uh, possibly together, it may come apart. So it's going to depend upon some factors. But if it, it, uh, it should be preset for the amateurs or the individual individuals buying this. You can bend it tighter if you want it to uh, if you want to feel if you want it to feel snug in your forearm. You can bend it out. If you've got a heavy barrel chest and you can't get your if you can't get your forearms real close together, if your arms are out more, you have to accommodate that. But it's good to learn to to uh, keep your forearms together and we'll show you how to do that in the video that's going to teach you how to use it. But for now, that's how you install it. You'll just uh, to move this up. You, if you grip towards this, you get less wrist cock and grip away from it, you get more. But uh, this will adjust up and down the shaft. All you do is loosen this and uh, you'll be able to move it up and down. More on that in the other video showing, showing you how to use it. If, if by chance you forget and put this in, say you put this in last, well now you've kind of stretched it out of shape and uh, you try to push it in and it might jump back at you like that. If that's the case, take it off
spread it out. If this slips, push it back on down. That's what happens when you put it on wrong. But if you put it on wrong, it gets bent out of shape, just make a tight circle. Now you've got a small circle. Then put it on in the right sequence. Make sure this end goes first. Then because I tightened it up, it'll stay snug now as you push this down and put your nut and bolt back on. <clears throat>